welcome back to my channel so I have mentioned that we are going on a road trip a 16 hour road trip and we have two kids with us so um, today's video I'm going to give you a few ideas of busy bags for toddlers um, there these are more geared towards like David's age he's almost four years old I don't think this will be appropriate for Diego I have um, a few other things that I will have for him to keep him entertained um, during the drive. I am not necessarily throwing all of these in a backpack because I think it's too much. Um, it's going to be a little heavy. And I already have a few, a few workbooks that I'm going to throw in there instead. But I thought this was the perfect opportunity to show you guys um, a few other things that you guys can carry either for restaurants or road trips or flights. Whatever, you know, whenever you need to keep a kid entertained. <laughs> Alrighty, the first one that I have is really simple. All of these are really simple, honestly, and really inexpensive. So it's these, uh, I'm sure you've seen them in, on Pinterest. So it's just popsicle sticks with little Velcro dots. If you're feeling a little brave, you can also find the plain craft sticks and have your kids paint them whatever colors they want. And you can just go ahead and make different shapes and letters and whatever you want you can put the dots wherever you want i have some um, where i have them in the middle somewhere that i have them like just on the edge um yeah i can actually let diego borrow these he'll go ahead and start putting them together um but then i do have to be monitoring him because he'll put them in his mouth but for the most part he's really good about it he likes you know like pulling them apart more than anything um but yeah so i can fit a bunch of these in this little pencil pouch now this pencil pouch i got a while ago from the 99 cent store i don't know if they'll still be available but uh they had them in a few colors i got a bunch of green and blue ones and i have a lot of uh, little busy bags that i carry i swap them out every once in a while and the second one is really easy also it's i use this little box that i got it's a little first aid kit that i got from dollar tree it had a few band-aids and the colored pencils now um these will probably fall all over the place so i will tell david to put these in his little cup holder so they don't like fall over the place um another thing if you're going to be carrying this like in an airplane just be careful with like not dropping them <laughs> So all these items were found at Dollar Tree. This was a um, first aid kit with some band-aids and I am just repurposing it. And this notepad came as part of one of those art kits that you can find at Dollar Tree. And the Crayola colored pencils. This was the first time I found the minis, so I was pretty excited um, about these. But um, they have Crayolas if you prefer the crayons uh, or the colored pencils. And I just throw all of those in there and that's it. This next one is a bunch of building blocks and dun, 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 I found uh, these at Dollar Tree and also this larger block at Dollar Tree. They have different colors. Now with these you have to be really careful because they do have really small parts. They have really tiny ones that if Diego gets in there it's going to be a disaster. So for this one, I am using an old lunchbox that I got from Target Dollar Spot a while back. Um, but you can also use just a regular pencil case. Um, I think it would also fit. And then this Lego sheet block, building block sheet. I don't know what this is called. Um, at Dollar Tree. I found that at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to add a bunch of hot glue to the back of this sheet. And also some onto the top lid from the lunchbox just so it can seal really well and I'm just going to hold it in place and push down as hard as I can for a little while until it cools off and then these make it blocks um, it says that they fit all leading brands but I have purchased some from Target Dollar Spot and they were not compatible so just be careful which ones you get. Dollar Tree had these five different colors and they also had some specifically for scenery like for trees and roads and then others for the rooftops and they had a bunch of different um, little set pieces but
but they do have really tiny ones so again be really careful with those little ones so i uh, do have to be really careful with it i am giving david lots of credit and uh, believing that he won't put it in his mouth but obviously he's going to be playing with this when i'm around um, i'm not just going to leave him in a room by himself to play with these so um, again these uh, probably won't come out in the car just because David Diego will be at arm's reach and I don't want him to get to them at all I don't want to I don't want him to have any chance of getting to these so um, these will probably will come out once we get to um, the house we will be staying at uh, then he can just play with them at the bigger table where Diego can reach them and uh yeah the next one is these 10 grams i remember 10 grams back when i was younger um they weren't paper they were like actual shapes like like little block shapes um but this is a printable and i will go ahead and link it down below i've spoken about this one before on my instagram you get these pictures here and for each one you use the same shape so you don't really need to print out all of these shapes you just need seven you don't need like multiples of it but um i figured we can carry these um once we get to where we're going um i can either play with him or our friends when we sit around the table and he's we're like playing with him um we're playing with david then we can each have a set of shapes and put them together i think he'll get a kick out of it so that's why i still have all of these in there but you don't really need all of them Again, this is a printable and I have it on my Pinterest board. Um, everything is going to be linked down below. My Pinterest board, my Instagram, everything is down there. <laughs> and this last one is also blocks. Um, but these blocks I got from Target Dollar Spot. I don't know if they have them available anymore because I got them a while ago. But you can also do um, make something similar with the ones found at Dollar Tree. You would just have to pick out like, you know, the other ones. Um, so yeah, so this is also a printable that I got from Pinterest and it's also going to be linked down below for you. Um, I colored them, you can have your child color them, um, but I colored them, made different patterns and I'm just gonna slide them back in this little pocket that I have here. Um, and he just has to uh, make the pattern as high as, it, as he can, keep going with the pattern. Now I did laminate these just so they can be more sturdy and more durable but you don't have to. I cut them up really small so they could fit in this box. Um, this is just a pencil case that I got from Dollar Tree and these Legos, these are the ones I was talking about. I found these at Target Dollar Spot a while back so I don't know if they'll still be available um, but these are not compatible with the sheet from the other box. Now I'm using these adhesive uh, square pockets to add to the lid of the pencil case and there I can go ahead and slide these in so they're not kind of sliding all over the place and he can go ahead and put the one he's working on in the front now I don't know about this one taking to a restaurant even or an airplane because I'm just thinking of the disaster it will be if you spill these blocks unless you know you don't stuff it this much this is like a little excessive um, but yeah I would probably not bring this out in an airplane or at the restaurant we're gonna be in the car um if i decide to bring this with us we're gonna be in the car so if he drops them i can pick them up when we stop you know whatever but i'm not gonna be at a restaurant on the floor crawling around an airplane picking up legos so so those are some of david's favorite busy bags busy activities that he likes to do here at home usually before um, usually before we do our little homeschool routine um, while I'm getting stuff ready goes through these I have a bunch more that I swap throughout the week uh, so he doesn't get bored of them so yeah that is everything for today thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one